Hey everyone, I'm back again with another piece that I'm gonna be doing out here in my open studio. We got a blank canvas right behind me. I got a design already uh, designed and laid out for me, so here we go. First thing first is always the sketch, laying out the shapes of my image to get the big picture. And with this eight foot canvas, my sketch took a bit of time to create, especially with that wind factor. No. Painting outside always has its challenges and the wind isn't my best friend. After the sketch is the first few layers of color. This maps out exactly where my shadows and highlights are so I can step away from looking at my reference sketch and focus on making the art. I like working with different shades of purples, reds, and pinks. The dynamic, subtle color changes I create has me falling in love with my work every time. And after the darker colors are added, it's time for the highlights and the pomegranates. It's what makes the fruit on the fruit juicy. After that bright highlight comes the transparency. Buddy, we just finished up the pomegranates just now. Things are looking pretty good. Have some edges I need to clean up and to reshape. But other than that, looking really awesome. Excited to keep going. Got the cupcake coming up next. So let's get to it. Let's go. Yeah. Doing the cupcake was a new challenge in spray paint for me. That and the fact I'm covering an eight foot canvas all by myself, me, myself, and the cans, oh yeah. The intricate folds was what was difficult to create, but I found a process to achieve the look we were all looking for, the cupcake cup. And silly me forgot to hit the record button when I started the icing. So we're just gonna jump right into adding some light shadows here. All right, everybody, we just finished the cupcake and now all I have are some blueberries and flowers to do to finish out this piece and cleaning up some edges as well. So definitely loving how it's going, not exactly how I thought it would turn out with spray paint, but you know, that's it's all part of being an artist. You know, you try new things and some things work out to the way that you want them, other things don't. So, you know, it is what it is and I'm, I'm happy to be doing it. So here we go, let's finish it up right now. And it was also at this point that my GoPro died. Wah, wah. So I had to result to using the footage from my camera B, which was capturing the time-lapse. As I was working on the blueberries, I realized that they were looking more like plums since I didn't have any blue spray paint in my practice paint. So they're either purple blueberries or very small plums, whichever one you like better. The flowers were the last thing to create. I wanted them to match the color of the icing and balance out the piece with all the purples and reds that were happening in the rest of the canvas. At this point, it was a race against time. The sun was setting fast and I needed to finish this piece because it was going to rain that night. The paint needed time to dry before being exposed to the elements. Nature again, not being my friend right now. As I put the final shadow details on my piece, there was a sense of great accomplishment that I finished this eight foot canvas all within three hours of work. Wow, look at me go. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like what you saw, smash the like and subscribe button, slide over to the comment section and tell me what you liked about this video. And we'll see you again in the next masterpiece. Until then, stay awesome.